to Strike Stroke. My name is Dr. Mectus. Today we're going to look at the second component of the NIH Stroke Scale. The NIH Stroke Scale is a standardized tool used to assess and quantify the severity of stroke symptom an individual is having. The second component of the NIH Stroke Scale is called Best Gaze, and it looks at the individual's ability to move their eyes on a horizontal plane. This section is scored on a scale 0 to 2. 0, normal function. 2, means severe symptom. In this case, an individual is asked to follow the examiner's fingers or an object put in front of them, and they're asked to follow it to the left side with using their eyes only, and also to the right side without moving their head. If they can perform this task without any difficulties, they'll be given a score of 0. On the other end of the spectrum, a score of 2 would be given to an individual who has forced gaze deviation, which means that they are only looking at one side of the world, either the left side of the world or the right side of the world, and they are not able to overcome this forced gaze deviation. How is gaze affected in stroke and what does this tell us? The severity of gaze deviation may vary depending on the severity of stroke an individual is having. Gaze deviation lets us know that the individual might be suffering from a large vessel occlusion because gaze deviation is one of the cortical signs. Cortical signs means that the stroke has affected the cortex portion of the brain or the very top portion of the brain. Therefore, in addition to giving tissue plasminogen activator, which is a strong clot busting medication, the individual might be a candidate for mechanical thrombectomy to remove the clot that is causing obstruction leading to brain injury. Several factors are taken into consideration on which treatment the individual will receive but overall our goal is to do no harm. In conclusion, today we looked at the second component of the NIH stroke scale. This component is called best gaze. This component looks at the individual's ability to move their eyes on a horizontal plane. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information useful. On the next episode, we'll look at the third component of the NIH stroke scale. And always remember to dial 911 if you or someone near you suddenly can't see, see can't speak, can't speak can't walk or can't feel, let the operator know that you or someone near you might be having a stroke so that you or the individual near you can be transported to the nearby comprehensive or primary stroke center for rapid stroke analysis and tailored treatment.